What's up you guys, JJ Long here. So we just unloaded our vehicle and we have all of our equipment inside. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up an actual table with the uh, tablecloths, the easels, the canvases, the paints, the brushes, the napkins, the water cups, all that stuff. We're just gonna quickly go through it. Uh, it might take 10 minutes or so, but I wanna show you guys in real time how, how it happens. Um, as far as the tablecloth goes, get pink token pink. Uh, JJ Artworks Paint Party Professionals, our colors are pink and black with, with a touch of green, but for the most part pink and black. So you want to get pink tablecloth. I go to Party City to get my tablecloth, but if you don't have a Party City around you, I believe like Michael's Arts and Craft Store, they sell tablecloth rows as well. You just want to make sure you get a tablecloth that has a good cling to it so it stays on the surface of the table really good and secure. Um, but also, uh, there are some times where we do like a little boy's birthday party or something like that. Obviously, you probably don't want to use pink. You probably want to use a blue tablecloth or something. I've also done baby showers where it was kind of like a, a gender neutral thing. So green is a good color choice there. But I'd say 90% of what we do, uh, you want to use our, our brand colors, which is uh, pink and black. So let's get started. All right. By the way, this is Andy videotaping. I feel like camera operators do not get enough love. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to hold our hand here, right, and start rolling it out, all right, we're going to go all the way down the whole length of the table. All right, then you want to have some scissors, bam, and you want to cut it, make sure it goes off the edge a little bit. Okay, awesome. That looks good. See how it's like a really good cling to the to the tabletop? You want to go for tablecloth rolls like that. All right, everything looks good. So the next part is the, uh, the easels, the tabletop easels. So what I usually do is I put the tabletop, uh, I took put the tabletop easels at each station first. I kind of lay it all out and then I prop up the tabletop easels. So I'll show you how to do that. So, Take a bunch, take like a handful. Like this. Okay, cool. So now we have all the easels placed where they need to be. Now we're gonna open them up. So, so they come out like this, right? And then you wanna put the, the wings of the easel up like that. And you wanna do that so the canvas, when it lays flat against it, it has some support. You also want to make sure that the legs of the easels are all the way extended out, like the, the back leg, because if you put an easel like that, when someone paints on it, it's just going to be really difficult. So you want to make sure that the, uh, the back leg is all the way stretched out like that. So we're just going to go down the row and open these up. Also, you want to make sure that the easels are back to back. It's, it's more helpful if, uh, if you have the choice when you go to someone's house or if you go to like an office or something or a college or a church or whatever. If you have your choice between rectangular tables and circular tables, always ask for rectangular tables because then you can set people up on one side like that and then you can set people up on the other side like this and you can teach like right here and everyone's looking at you. That's just like a kind of a spatial awareness type thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, so if you have your option, always choose rectangular tables. Okay. Okay. So the next part after this is the uh, canvas. So we're gonna go here. Now the the format of the painting we're doing tonight is a vertical painting. So we're gonna put the canvases up vertically. So we got the easels up, we got the canvases up, we got the tablecloth out. Um, the next thing I usually do is the aprons. Now as far as the aprons go, depending on how much time you have to set up an event, say you're kind of running behind schedule, uh, it's totally cool just to put the aprons over the chairs like that. In fact, I probably do that 90% of the time. You just want to kind of drape the aprons over the chairs, right? So if you have some extra time and you want to make the aprons look a little more professional, you probably want to have like the logo facing out kind of like this. 
Um, that's only if you have some extra time to kill, uh, but a lot of the times if you're kind of running behind the clock, you just want to drape them over the chairs, which is totally cool. That's typically what I tend to do. Um, so I'm just going to keep going here. All right. All right. The next thing we do after the aprons is the water cups. So I'm going to go into here. As far as the water cups go, you can go to like any local grocery store to get your water cups. Um, I definitely recommend plastic cups. Don't try to um, take the cheap, cheap road and do styrofoam cups. It just doesn't look as professional. I would definitely do like some red solo cups or if you can spend the extra money, try to get black, you know, like the company colors. Um, but let me show you how to do this. So you want to put the water cups on the right hand side like this right next to the canvas and the easel. And you're probably asking yourself, why the right-hand side, JJ? Why the right-hand side? Um, I think like 90% of the world are righties. Sorry, you lefties. <laughs> um, but it just, it makes it easier. Just put it on the right-hand side. The next step are the napkins. Same thing with the napkins. Just go to like your local grocery store or if you have like a BJ's or a Costco around you and you can get a bunch of napkins for cheap and bulk, go right ahead. Um, as far as the napkins go though, I would definitely, um, I gotta drink water. <laughs> I have these stupid reminders. Keep this by the way. Keep, I want this to be in the training video. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, the napkins we use, try to go for two ply napkins. If you try to, again, go the cheap route and get um, just really flimsy napkins, your customers actually tend to go through like a ton of napkins. So it benefits you to get like better quality two-ply napkins. So I definitely try that, uh, or definitely do that. So as far as the napkins go, you wanna start every customer, every painter out with two napkins, and you wanna put it underneath the easel to the right-hand side, like that, All right? This. this. Also, you just want to make sure that there's enough space in between each person so they have enough elbow room. You don't want canvases really on top of each other too much if you can try to avoid it. Um, so just be conscious that you kind of want people to have enough space left to right and then you want people to have enough space in front of them where they can put their palettes and stuff. So kind of just, just do like a quick check and um, Make sure everyone has the appropriate amount of space. Okay. The next step are the brushes. So we're gonna go here to the brushes. Now as far as the brushes go, it's a lot easier if you get to the venue and you already have them organized by size. It just makes the whole process a lot faster. So I actually already bunched a bunch together. Um, and today I'm using four sets of brushes. All right. So we got big brushes, medium brushes. I call these ones the small brushes, and then I get tiny, tiny baby brushes. And what you do, we're just gonna make sets. Like this. All right? So this is one brush set for one customer. And I can usually fit like maybe three brush sets in my hands at one point in time. You know? so. Okay, so I get three brush sets. Now, as far as the brushes go, I put them, I'm, I'm wicked anal, you don't have to be as anal as me, but I'm very kind of regimented and organized and all that stuff. So I usually put the brush set on top of the napkins and to the right side of the easel like that. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the paint plates right here. Cool. Then the next step after you put out the brushes is you're gonna fill up the cups with water. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some water and I'll be right back. So I got a pitcher of water now. You want to try to get, uh, if you have your choice, try to get like uh, lukewarm water. 
Um, if people come late, then the water is going to be cold anyways. But I mean, if, if you're putting the water out right before people come, try to get lukewarm water because it makes the paint dissolve off the brush a little bit easier. So. Um, as far as filling up the water cups go, you want to fill them up a little more than halfway up so people have enough room to uh, wash off their brushes in the cup. So. Cool. All right, so after you do the water cups, uh, we're not going to do the paint right, right yet. Guests aren't coming for a little bit longer, so uh, if we put out the paint right away, it risks it of getting hard by the time guests come and everything. So we're gonna shift gears, we're gonna stop setting up the table, and now we're gonna set up the teacher easels. So let's get to that.